Hi everybody, welcome back to the Department of Comics. I'm your host, Agent DeCamp. Uh, sorry it's been a while since I put out a video, just lots of things going on. I'm going to try to rectify that in the future and see if we can get some regular content coming out to you. Today is going to be another haul video for me. I'm still new with this and that's kind of like what I'm talking about. So uh, I hope to expand into other issues with the comic collecting community and see what else we can do. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you some books I picked up from Indiegogo off of some nice campaigns there. Uh, Free Comic Book Day, which is at my local comic shop, which is Cloak and Dagger Comics in Ormond Beach, Florida. So if you're ever in the Daytona Beach, Florida area, try to look them up. Uh, Brendan and Justin run a really nice shop there and they have lots of good deals and lots of good books. So uh, also, we went to Target today, so I'll show you some stuff I got from there too. So to start off with Indiegogo... This is Nora Saga from Allegiance Arts. Originally it was being published as floppies. Uh, they put three of them out and then they had problems with a business partner. Never finished the story. So they're putting out all their books as trades now so everybody can read the story. Next we have Knife Hand Blind Spot by your boy Zach. Uh, this is uh, in the vein of the Snake Eyes Silent Story in G.I. Joe back in the 80s. It also has another story in there, uh, co-written by Chuck Dixon. So that's a nice one to pick up. Zach also has this here for his Theosophy line. It's called Mind Your Business. Um, it's just a little interesting, quirky stories that he has in his little world he's creating. So also has beautiful art by Kelsey Shannon. Then it finally came out, unbelievably, Cash Grab by Cecil. I don't know if anybody knows who Cecil is, but he's on the... Um, a lot of the Comics Gate channels, he shows up on Ethan Van Skyver's videos. He's kind of a funny guy. Um, but this has art by Donald DeLay. Uh, has a nice gold foil on here, embossed cover, and it's really well made. Along with that, I got the variant cover, the human Cecil Peed. Cecil Peed. <laughs> um, it has John Malin as the head of the, the little centipede there. Then we have this variant cover here that has Heather Swain from Cyberfrog and Lilith from John Malin's Graveyard Shift. Okay, they're all signed by Cecil. He also included this little thing here that includes all the fan art that was sent in to him while we were waiting for the book. So it's amazing how thick this book is. That shows you how long we had to wait. Uh, the last book he had in there was Dirtworm Doug, which is actually supposed to be Doug to April, but don't tell anybody I told you that. So, along with that, he sent some tchotchkes here. We got a cash grab sticker. A little set of cards that are basically cash grab based in the uh, Cyber Frog universe. And we got a Kelsey Shannon poster of Anna, that Star Wars girl, as Slave Leia. So everybody knows that Kelsey has a crush on Anna. At least he used it. Okay, let's get into the free comic book day books. Now, Brenda and Justin at Cloak and Dagger are like family to me, so they usually save me one of each copy. So, here we have Spidey and his amazing friends. We have the Marvel Voices. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Animal Crossing. Animal Castle. Uncanny Avengers. Babysitter's Little Sister, Fish Flies, Koto to Kotoro, Kotora, The Last Comics on Earth, Overstreet Guide to Collecting Comics, Shadow Man, oh, sorry, Star Trek, Street Fighter. West of Sundown, Tom Holland's Fright Night, Sweet Valley Twins, The Best Comic Ever, The Ranger Academy, Investigators, Frazettiverse, Red Sonia, Seismic Stories, Umbrella Academy, Star Wars High Republic, Mad Balls vs. Garbage Pail Kids, Punch Up, 
the 65th Smurfs Anniversary, The Cursed Library, The Sacrificers, RuneScape, Nightmare Before Christmas, The Battle for Pumpkin King, Mexikid, Mech Cadets, I Am Stan, the Fabulous Furry Freak Brothers. These guys were popular back in the 70s. I remember reading some of these. They were some of the undergrounds. They had the Fabulous Furry Freak Brothers. And one of them had a cat. It was Fat Freddy's cat. They were kind of funny back then. Usually involved a lot of pot smoking. Dogman. Crime Buster. Conan the Barbarian. Shujin Nix. Spider-Man Venom, Dawn of DC Night Terrors, Girl Taking Over, which is a Lois Lane story, Clark and Lex, and Flowers. So, as you can see, there's quite a bit of, quite a bit of books there. I know a lot of comic book stores say you can only have one or two copies, but like I said, we're family, so I get all. Okay, I also picked up there one of the sales they had. They had, um, I believe it was 50% off back issues. I picked up this Batman right here. It's a variant cover. Got for three bucks. Kind of looks almost like a Marvel cover. That's what I liked about it. It's Batman 126. So, very cool looking cover. I also picked up new uh, Green Arrow number one with the Frank Cho uh, Black Canary cover. I love Black Canary, so I saw this. Had to have it. Okay, this next batch of books I got from them, they have dollar books, I mean dollar bins there. Um, I remember back in the day when there were 10 cent bins, um, but all their dollar books were 50 cents, and they had these boxes there where you could possibly stack anywhere from 150 to 200 books in them, and they said if you got them in there, you got the box for 50 bucks. Unfortunately, I couldn't get that money. So uh, let's see what we got here. They're a little mixed up. We have a uh, Superman 57. All of these are just hole fillers for me. Superman Man of Steel 101. Man of Steel 99. Superman of Steel 93. Adventures of Superman 577. 578. 581. Five eighty two, five eighty three, five sixty, five sixty one, four ninety three, four ninety two, four ninety one. We have Secret Origins Presents number ten, The Phantom Stranger, The New DN Agents. Number two, tank on the cover. New Superman, 23. New Superman, 18. I'm a hoarder, so that's why I usually have these. I just want to fill holes in. New Superman, number 12. And sorry, I've been hitting the microphone. i got to stop doing that. Deathlock, number five. Eclipso, Face of Vengeance, number one. Action Comics, 757. 762, 761, 681, 678, back to Adventures of Superman, 574, 572, 575, Supergirl, 62, sorry I wasn't holding them up high enough, 57, 55, 54, 53, 51, Superman, 138, uh, this one is 130, Adventures of Superman again, 485, 432, then I got an Aquaman, 38, the reason why I need some of these still is because uh, there are times when I have to cut down my order because 
expenses are high and money is tight. So then I have to throw back and see when I can pick them up in the dollar bins. This is Action Comics number 740. Cool cover. Deathlock 21. The Spectre number 7. Terry Moore's Strangers in Paradise. I don't like anything Terry Moore writes. Supergirl, 70. 67. 64. Uh, 65. Like I said, these are all 50 cent books. Uh, 64. So they're not 9 eighths. Some are actually, actually this one. Wow, this one probably could be. There's not a spine tick on it. Everything's sharp. Man of Steel, 82. But I'm not going to send it out. Spectre, 49. And 48. 24. 11. Yeah, back to Superman, number 69. And 68. It's a nice Deathstroke cover there. Deathstroke versus Superman. Uh, this is 67. And last we got 61. So that's the comic books I got from Free Comic Book Day. Now today we went to Target, see what kind of toys they had. They had quite a few there. I was able to pick up the Joker from the Dark Knight trilogy. This is the Heath Ledger one. Comes with Bane's head and hands to build Bane. So far I have uh, Joker and Two-Face. I just need Scarecrow and Batman. Of course I'll never build the Bane because they stay in the box. Next we have the Joker from Batman Arkham City. A little buddy on there. Looks like he's a little beat up. For some reason he comes with a large sword. Okay. We got Supergirl from the upcoming Flash movie. I actually kind of wanted this one. I think it's a little cool sculpt there. I kind of like it. I don't know if I'm like the character in the movie. I'm glad they're not running with her as replacing Superman. At least not yet anyway. But I wanted the figure because I think it looks pretty cool. Now we have the Joker from Infinite Frontier. And he once again he comes with a big knife. It's funny they don't want to have guns but he's actually holding an eyeball up there. You can hold an eyeball in your hand but you can't hold a gun. For the DC toys. I tell you. Then for the page punchers... We got Ocean Master. Okay. And Aqualad. Cool sculpt, but I'm not a big fan of the character. And then, my wife said, I know you want it, go ahead and get it. So, we got it. We got the Batwing from the Flash movie. 27 inch wingspan. Comes with a 12 inch Batman figure. It's not a McFarlane, I wish it was, but I think it's cool. I'm actually going to open that and probably hang it from the ceiling. So, all right, everybody, that's it for today. If you could please do all the YouTube things, which is hit that like button, leave a comment if you like what you saw, or if you didn't like what you saw, some things you like, maybe want me to talk about, I don't know. Um, also, share with your friends, please. I like to grow the channel. Okay, everybody have a great day, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.